All right, so I got the new motor more or less lined up, and then I'm going to use this long board here as sort of a lever. Um, we're gonna make a little seesaw and uh, just sort of lift it up into there. I'm gonna get my notoriously camera shy wife to stand on this one end while I sort of bolt it in as it raises up. So we each had a good time. I got my motor in and my wife learned that she is not as heavy as a motorcycle motor. So that's cool. We can pull this out. Pull that out. And now it's just, you know, the long process of doing it all in reverse. Um, I'm going to put the 4 into 2 exhaust on, going to put the oil cooler on and the radiator, hook all that up, um, put the carbs back on, electrical is all connected, tank seat, and uh, then fire it up. I think it's pretty cool that the rest of the red bike just sort of hangs like that. I can just put it on the center stand and it doesn't fall over nothing. Obviously, unicyclists are well-balanced people. Coming up on the uh, exhaust system here, I got one half on. Fixing to put the other one on now. So we got the radiator and the oil cooler back on and all hooked up, so I can stop dripping oil all over the garage floor. Now I'm going to be using the coils on the red bike. Uh, because the ones from the gray bike were all old and crusty and shitty. It's very nice having a spare bike on hand. So I'm not sure how these handlebars made their way on this bike, or if this is stock or not, but um, I don't like it, and so we're going to remove it. To do that, I'm just going to take off these hydraulic lines. I already took off the... Uh, um, the brake line up here. So now we're just going to take off this clutch and then just loosen all this shit up all in here, these clamps and whatnot, and then it should just pop right up. It's looking a lot better already. I had to open up the forks because of these collars here. I'm going to let it slide past, so I had to open up them. Got my springs all exposed. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to button down uh, these clip-ons. Remove all this, the old stuff, and then transfer all the electronics over. Obviously, I'm going to be using the old um, ignition. It is right here. And it's really good, so I'll be using the old ignition. Let's get this piece of junk out of here. And uh, then just yank all this stuff away, you know, I gotta transfer over the cables and stuff, I gotta transfer over the electricals and the, um, the hydraulics, but uh, that shouldn't take me too long. Now of course when I took the um, fork caps off, these springs sort of popped out and the whole bike just sort of sunk down, and so in order to get them to recess back in, all you do is just simply jack up the bike. Just like that, you uh, get them to recess in and then you can put the caps back on. So this kind of sucks. Um, I forgot to check whether or not these had nuts underneath the, uh, um, the ignition. And they don't. They have to be drilled out, which isn't a huge deal, but... It's kind of a pain in the ass and an awkward angle because I have to drill all four of them out. So instead, what I gotta do is take this silver plate off and then put this black yoke, this triple tree yoke, back on here. Um, not such a big deal, but I gotta raise the bike up, I gotta take these, uh, these fork caps off again, I gotta take each clip on 
off individually and then swap it out. So just another 20 minutes worth of work. All right, so I got the old handlebars off. Clip-ons are on. However, I did notice that this little knob, which controls the choke, uh, is broken off. So I'm going to be replacing that out with this good one. That right there. I've um, routed all my electricals and plugged them into the wiring harness on the bike. Uh, after that, I'm going to be routing the cables for the throttle and the choke. And then hooking up the... Uh, hydraulic lines for the brake and for the uh, the clutch. This bike came with these really nice braided steel brake lines which I always love to see and yeah I'll just be hooking them up, bleeding them um, I know my, uh, uh, my calipers are good, the brakes on this bike were pretty good so yeah plugging away this is how I usually re-thread a chain, um, especially when it's got a long expanse to go and there's all kinds of shit in the way. Um, you don't have to take off the chain guard if you just use a long coat hanger, wire it up, and then you can pull it on the other end. You just pull it all the way through. All right, and so we got the uh, front sprocket cover on. We got the clutch slave back on got the chain on uh, I think I might call it a night guys no it doesn't look like much just yet but it's coming along